Gladly. If you're through with the bathroom, I'd like to make myself presentable. My gentleman Caldo will be here shortly. Sure, go ahead. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Isn't Mallory just so refined? Yeah. I swear, ever since that Downton Abbey marathon, <laughs> oh, she and her boyfriend are just so classy. Yeah. I'm just glad they didn't have a Twilight Marathon. <laughs> oh. Good evening, dear madams. <laughs> I am here to call upon the fair Miss Mallory. I will get her. Mallory! <laughs> As always, Natalie, your dulcet tones are like sweet ambrosia to my ears. Thank you. Madam. I hope you'll permit me to say that your beauty never ceases to still both my heart and time itself. Oh, good sir. You flatter me with your flowery words, but tis your stately character where my true passion lies. If we were alone right now, I would kiss your hand. Oh my, yes. <sighs> get it, I'll get it. Babe. <laughs> you to come. Yeah, babe, didn't you hear me honking? The car's still running. James, must you be so crass in mixed companies? Yeah, sure, whatever, babe. It's Mr. Perry, isn't it? <laughs> Bruh. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance, but permit me to say that in the future, when in the presence of a lady, you would do well to treat your intended with the respect she inherently deserves. Ouch, bruh. It's all right, James. You can make it up to me at Butch's Beef World. Oh, yeah. Can I get the steak and fried butter? Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, escargots. Such a handsome couple. Indeed. Uh, so, where'd you get your dress? The 1800s, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> Jason. Hey. Um, Jason, I thought that perhaps for tonight we might conduct ourselves in a more civilized manner. What are you talking about? Just for tonight, do you think we can be more like them? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Yes, please. Mr. Gray of the Gray household. <laughs> uh, Mr. Gray, would it be too intimate a query for me to question your intentions regarding Miss Cole? She is very dear to me after all. Uh, Miss Everton, I find that a very forward inquiry indeed. Mr. Gray and I have not yet breached the subject of domestic felicity as of yet. <laughs> Well, why ever not? It would... twould... <laughs> be... an error... of judgment... in my mind... to consider... a proposal of that nature at this tender stage of our courtship. Must a man endure continual pressure from his peers as well as his kin regarding this most sensitive issue? I assure you, we mean no ill will. We only raise the subject out of concern for Miss Call. Are you implying that she has need for concern? I am implying nothing. Though perhaps I have inadvertently struck a tender chord. <laughs> apologies. You may take your apologies and place them in your... Jason! <laughs> that is it, sir. I demand satisfaction. And you shall have it. Very well. Mallory, 
If you will oblige us. Yes, oblige us, Mallory. <laughs> Are these real guns? Go get him, babe. Babe? <laughs> will you turn your back on me, you coward? <laughs> they were real. So we'll be off to the lake then? Yes, I think so. Okay. 